What's happening, everybody? Welcome back to Sephora. And finally, Fake Ascension has arrived for all of us. And this is a pretty cool update. We got some nice quality of life changes. We have new free skin. We even have a, well, a free character for some players if you don't already have her, which is actually pretty damn amazing. So the first thing, guys, is the Fake Ascension event itself. Now, this is really, really beautiful and wild. And look at the time frame on this thing. 46 days. This is actually going to last for six weeks. And by the way, guys, after Fake Ascension, we're going to have the near collaboration. So if you're not pulling for Luna, then this is actually going to give you quite a bit more time to get some black cards in order to try to hopefully pull for, you know, one of the near characters. Now, first thing we have, guys, is we have the new main story, which is this right here. Now, this is a different format than what we're actually used to. They're going to give you a certain amount of AP, I believe five of these every single day, and you're going to use these in the story mode. Now, the thing about the story mode, guys, is you click on this here, all you got to do is literally click on this icon right here and it tells you where you need to go and what you need to be doing, right? So for example, for me, it says continue exploring Dominic Memorial Park level one area and Dominic Memorial Park would be right over here. And if you're just unsure about things, click on that little icon right there and you can actually scroll down and it tells you exactly what you need to do. You can see right here, you know, you give you a current exploration goal, follow the guide to complete the main story, right? And then they tell you what these things do as well. I'm not going to read all this guys. And then you can kind of go through here. So what we can do is we come over here. This is where I would play and jump in here, right? And then I'd start running through this thing. Okay. They even have a little map to kind of kind of guide you uh, through this thing as well, which is pretty cool. You got a little progression meter uh, where my face is actually in the way that shows, you know, how much progression you are through the story mode, which is actually quite nice. And it's not too bad, guys. I mean, literally, you can just click on this thing, run through these, right? Eh, click through here, right? Click through here, look through here, right? Click through here. And just keep going through these things until you can get to a point where you can't go no further, right? So now I can't go no further. I'd have to play this, jump into this, click on this guy right here, hit battle, and then use my team here to battle through it. We'll just do this one as an example, guys. And by the way, when you exit out of this, you got to start all over. So it's really best to stay in here until you finish your story progression. Okay, and let's go. Pretty easy. It's really not too difficult at all. There we go. Get some experience. And then you just keep running through here, guys. Uh, click on this. Click on this. Now, I don't want to be here all day trying to run through this, but it's, it's pretty much that simple, guys. You just run through this, run through this. You're going to come to a point where you have to click on Preparation Center here, and you're going to have to use your character here to kind of get through a little spot. Uh, I'm not really at any of those points right now in the game, and I don't know how long it'll take before I get to one. Those experiences I just got counts up here, right? So you know, whenever we get you know a little less than 100 more experience, it's going to go up to level 4. All right. Let's get through it. And funny thing about this is you can actually go through the story mode in a different area, which I'll show in here in a little bit. But I'm, I'm not really sure. I think this might unlock some of it. There we go. Got some talent points. It's always nice. Help us get through the story mode a little bit more. And now we're at level four, which is pretty damn cool, guys. But it's really that simple. You're just going to just keep going through here and keep going through here and keep going through here. You're going to see ones that say access denied. You can't click on those there. And you're just going to keep moving forward and forward and forward in order to get through the story mode. You can also click on tactical files down here. And you can actually kind of go through the story mode right here as well which is actually pretty nice. Takes a lot of the forethought out of it, which is actually pretty cool. And then you have the shop right here where you're going to be able to get memories for Luna. These are memories for Luna, which is actually quite nice. And then you can get all these materials right here, which is actually really good. 
And then you're going to be acquiring these cubes here for a certain little event that they're giving out to get uh, uh, Liv Lux and get a skin for her and also get a weapon for her, which is actually really, really great. And then, of course, you got all your other memories that you can farm if you want to. So let me back out of here. And this is where you can actually get live. Now, all you got to do is get 20 of these cubes, which you can actually buy from the shop. And you'll just come through here and you'll just start collecting. Now, these are going to be random, but eventually you're going to get everything in here. It's really nice that they're giving some limited banner tickets. You get a free weapon. You're going to get her for free, which is actually quite nice. And you're going to get uh, a skin for her, which is actually really, really nice, guys. Really beautiful skins. Awesome that this thing is actually free. But just make sure that you come into the shop and, and buy these cubes here so you can do all these pulls. So that's something you're definitely going to be farming for in the shop is these right here. And you'll be farming for those things in the abyss right here. You're just going to be farming in this right here. You're going to click on multi-challenge and you're going to collect all these materials for everything in the shop. Pretty straightforward, pretty simple, very similar to what we've had before. And then, and then everything else is pretty much locked up. You also want to go through our interlude so that way you can get, you know, all these black cards, which is nice. Uh, I went through the interlude already. It was actually really touching. Uh, it really makes you love Luna a whole lot more. Really great story for the character. The next thing that they've done is that they've actually changed the weapon resonance. This is pretty damn cool. So as you guys can see on my weapon resonance, I have gained two extra random single orbs. One come out and three same single orbs every 45 seconds, right? And whenever you hit train and you click on resonance, you can actually swap your resonance that you already have. So when you click on swap resonance, this doesn't cost you anything at all. Once you resonate your weapon, you can literally swap the skill and change it, which is awesome. So I have this one right now. I can change it to glorious afterglow, which is final attack with the weapon increased by 30% for eight seconds whenever doing a three ping and duration resets every time it is triggered. So there's no cooldown on this. I mean, 30% attack is pretty damn awesome guys on the final attack and then shock echo and you guys can look through here and see which one is best you got one here for survivability that's on a 15 second cooldown so whenever you're switching your characters back and forth between your three characters you're gonna be able to gain this invincibility every single time whenever you're attacked that's nice you can increase your dodge so if any of you are you know annoyed with some of the dodges that you're getting you know maybe you can uh dodge a little bit more i mean this is pretty damn cool i uh, i really really like that they did that, that's a nice, nice quality of life change. Now, let me look at something here real quick. All right, these are just all attack and crit. Yeah, it doesn't look like you, you can't do it for five star weapons, only six star weapons. The next thing is in the war zone, you can go into the shop here. Well, yeah, war zone shop. And now we can buy these memory resonance material picks. This is awesome right here this is fantastic because you can literally i got a whole bunch of these things in here this and you get these from farming in warzone you can literally buy these things right and it's going to go up every single time so it's 800 for the first one 1200 for the second one 2000 for the third one i'm not going to buy the one for 2000 i'm just going to save these things and buy the 800 and 1200 but you can literally use those damn things to do resonance so let me go to my alpha here right because i do want to try to get some good resonance on here you guys can look at a resonance right here here. and what you'd want is like for for alpha's sake right i want her core passive on this second slot so i can literally hit train go to resonance swap for resonance click on memory item here and then this will show up right it shows you got two of them right here and then you can choose your skill let me see if there's one that doesn't have attack on it uh let me see here that's core passive that's core passive all right, all right, so we got, so this one's got a QT. Let's change that one first. So we'll click on that. We'll click on train, click on resonance. And then we will click swap resonance, memory item, choose a skill, right? Which is pretty awesome, guys. And I can literally choose her core passive right here, confirm, and then resonate. And boom, shakalaka. It's a guaranteed resonance. I mean, that is awesome. You talk about eliminating some RNG. That is so freaking sick. 
I love it. And all I got to do is do two more of those things, and then I'll have perfect resonance at least on the second slot. And then I'll try to get attack and crit on these other ones for her as an example. Really, really awesome uh, quality of life change, something I've been looking forward to for a long time. I made a video about it a long time ago, and I'm really, really excited about it, guys. So freaking awesome. So this has really been a really great update. And Luna will be arriving in the game shortly, and we'll be definitely looking forward to that. So, guys, let me know what you think about this update, man. I think this is a pretty awesome update. The quality of life changes with the memory resonance and the, and the weapon resonance are absolutely amazing for us, man. Especially taking all that RNG out of the memory resonance. That's so freaking sick. And the story for Luna has actually been extremely engaging. It's been really wonderful. I would highly advise everybody to, you know, go ahead and read it. But again, let me know what you guys think about Fake Ascension. Then I do stream on Twitch at 9 p.m. GMT plus 7 time. The link is in the description below. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Y'all take care and have a good one. See everybody.